Hey everyone, Paul here. Just wanted to share a word of encouragement with you today. And let me start off by asking, are you having a good day, a good week, a good month, a good year? And what determines whether or not you have a good day? I'm sure you know, but there are many factors which play into how your day goes. What issues you have to deal with, the traffic, weather, who you run into that day, good news, bad news that you might receive, all these things and many others impact how your day or your week will go. Now, if you're a Lakeshore member, you will remember that recently we hosted the LIT Mission Week. And each day, those preteen leaders in training met for worship. They sang songs, they heard a short devotional thought, they got some instructions for the day along with some words of encouragement, but the last thing they did each morning was to armor up in preparation for the day. This armor found in Ephesians chapter six, verses 10 through 18 is our spiritual armor. This spiritual armor helps protect us from the attacks that Satan might throw at us each and every day. So as I thought about this armoring up, I believe that all Christians need to prepare themselves for the day. If we ask God to be our protection, maybe our day would be a better one. If we put on the armor of God each day and ask the Holy Spirit to guide us, who knows? God might use us in a moment of tragedy in someone's life. Now, I'm not suggesting that every day we will go without any negative elements or criticisms or uninvited interruptions. However, if we have asked the Holy Spirit to guard our thoughts and our words and to fill us with Christ's love, if we have taken the time to fill our minds with God's word and are able to recall those truths in a moment of crisis, we will respond to those negative interactions with kindness and will not allow our natural sinful nature to get the best of us. There are times that bad things will happen to us and there are things that will happen in our lives that will not be positive and we will have to learn how to deal with them. Keep in mind that the Bible tells us that Jesus is with us. He's walking beside you and he's probably even carrying you through those tough times. And reflecting on that, you may wonder what the reason was for that seemingly bad experience and what purpose it will have on your life. Chances are you won't know for weeks, months, even years later as to why those things happen to you. So let me challenge you to use those situations as teachable moments in your life to strengthen your walk with the Lord. Romans 8.28 tells us, and we know that in all things, God works for the good of those who love him who have been called according to his purpose. What a great promise from God's word and an encouragement from the Lord himself to us to remember that when things don't go our way, there's maybe a reason for it. Maybe God allows something to happen to strengthen us in our spiritual walk. So let me encourage you to look for the good in your bad situations. Learn to be a glass half full kind of person. Seek to put a smile on someone's face, be a positive influence in someone's life. And remember to armor up each day, rely on the Holy Spirit to guide your thoughts and your actions and give you the right words to say to encourage someone else. And who knows, maybe you will have a great day, a great week, a great month because of the steps you've taken to prepare yourselves. Thanks for listening. If you have a, need a place to worship, you are welcome to join us at Lakeshore each and every Sunday. Check out our website, lakeshorebaptist.com for more information. We pre I appreciate you listening. Hope you have a great day.